Would you like to explore the unknown? I can draw a dimensional circle for you if you'd like. Dimensional circles are an ancient kind of magic. It's taken a long time and a lot of effort, but I finally managed to replicate it. There's so much I want to know about the world beyond the dimensional circle. Those monsters make it nearly impossible to do any research. <laughs> you wouldn't believe how many close calls I've had. You seem strong enough. I bet you fare far better there than I have. And who knows what wonderful things you might discover while you're there. I want to go find it myself, but I had an injury while escaping from the dimension last time and haven't recovered yet. Alas, what can I do? Without it, research on the dimensional circle will come to nothing. Uh, really? Thank you. You can probably find my research journal somewhere in the Spectre's Abyss. There are many interesting things beyond the dimensional circle. Maybe you'll find something special. Instead, I recommend that, when entering the Dimensional Circle, you go with other colleagues. You are strong enough, but it's quite dangerous there. Well, please take care of yourself. I'm Baze, from the Endless Collectors Association. Our organization is collecting every kind of equipment there is. In the beginning, we only collected tools crafted by the most decorated craftmasters. But we soon realized that no matter how insignificant the equipment, each has a piece of its crafter's soul in it. That's why we decided to collect everything in the world. We invented the lithograph to help make that a little easier. A tool like this one, anyone can lend a hand in collecting equipment. What do you say? Do you want to try it out? Sure, we'll accept anything. We don't care if it's new or old. It's even fine if you don't have the equipment on hand just yet. You're welcome anytime. Happy to have help from a capable adventurer like you. Thank you, in advance. In the Inter Village, you met Robert, who taught you about the lithograph book and its advantages. When you felt watchful eyes upon you, you were quick to chase the spy. A lichen named Baze, a member of the Endless Collectors Association, had been observing you from afar. He explained the lithograph book's purpose, and requested your cooperation in completing it. You're here! Thank you for coming. Thanks to you, everything worked out. I'm in your debt. Oh, you see... Do you remember the mana recording device we set up to monitor Morikai? When I came back from looking for the children, I, I felt a suspicious energy from it. I explored the area, and there are strange entities called Soul Arbiters appearing in the forest lately. 
If you defeat one, a small flame spirit will emerge and lead you to another area. I think they lead towards Celius's abyss. Anyway, we don't know what else will happen in the forest if we just leave them be. The problem is, it's hard for me to explore the area alone. Thank you so much. Sophia and Robert couldn't help me because they're busy. Again, when you eliminate one of the soul arbiters that appear in the forest, a small flame spirit will appear. Please. According to local guards, you can hear a terrible scream when several soul arbiters gather in one place. Maybe that has something to do with this energy. Oh, and when you enter Celius's abyss, please be sure to do so in a group. It's a dangerous place to be alone.